going on guys? Welcome back here, Best Beers In Me. We got an unboxing video today. Another box showed up from CraftShack.com. Great big box. Well, whoops. If none of you have ever seen an unboxing or had any from Craft Shack, they come very nicely packaged. With all kinds of biodegradable peanuts. And as you see, well I'll show you. They all come in most of them come in two cans and a sleeve. Super bubble wrap, you're not gonna damage those. So, so it is a very expensive uh, service, but they have some pretty pretty decent beers and some yeah. hard to get beers on there. They do cost a pretty penny. And some of these are hard to get open. <laughs> so we'll take turns and Grab a can and see okay, what so it is. I'm going to start first and I want to go with the purple can. Right. And just so everybody knows, I am trying to talk him into chilling one of these and finishing off with one of these tonight. <laughs> so this, oh, so maybe it might be the first one. This is a 450 North Blackberry Cheesecake. 450 North, we've liked most of all of those so 5 far. 5.3 alcohol by volume. And I got Abomination Brewing. Braid and Blanche Brewing and Sky Gazer Brewing. This is Who the Fuck Put Carrot in the Cake? Oh, so that's another one I want to try. The Three Wave Collaboration 10% Stout Edition. This is Imperial Milk Stout with carrot, chocolate, cream cheese, cinnamon, and granola. Okay, so maybe we're going to chill these two, the first two we open. So, that one there, there's a Sour Edition, and this is the Stout Edition. So this one... Is another 450 North. It's Dragon Eggs. It's a slushy XXL smoothie style sour ale with papaya, pink guava, and raspberry. So you're getting all the 450s. Yeah. I've got Pizza Port. So this is like West Coast IPAs. This okay. is a Session IPA. That's something you're going to really like. Carlsbad, California. Pizza Port Brewing. This is 4.5% session called Ponto. That might be a good camp beer. All right. Oh, <laughs> I got another 450 it. North. Kryptonite. So this is another slushy XXL smoothie style sour with kiwi, melon, mango, and grapefruit. That sounds good too. I like the name too. <laughs> Me too. Well, I've got one. I got this. So just for the cane. Does that say spaghetti? Label. It's called Mom Spaghetti from Della Hunt Brewing. It's a double dry hopped IPA at 6.8%. They're from San Clement, California. Right. That's a Let's cool. Let's see if I can get another 450. There. I didn't. TDH Hop Hands Triple Dried Hop Pale Ale. That's from Tired Hands. They're somewhere in Pennsylvania. Uh, Ardmore? Ardmore, Pennsylvania. Ardmore, Pennsylvania. So I've heard of. Tired hands for a long time, and I've never had a chance to have one. So well, now you do. Now we can. We got another pizza port. This is one of their IPAs called Summer Oasis. It's seven point two percent, and it's actually canned on less than a month ago. So most of the beers I seem to get pretty fresh from these guys, even though sometimes they take a while to ship them. So this is Hydra Mortalis from Avon, New York. Okay, so it's a sour ale, ale brewed with. Pomegranate, blueberry, and raspberry at seven percent. So I heard heard good things of Mortalis Brewing, but I again have never had them. Let's see what I got here. Is that ninja? Here's juice? another one I got. Gang, gang. Ganja juice. Ganja juice. Another one from mm -hmm. California, from Livermore, California. Altamont Beer Works. Never heard of them. And what is it? It's an Imperial it? Red Ale. Oh. So you don't see a lot of red ales. I seem to like red ale so that one sounded pretty good to me so this one is carl strauss brewing company sierra nevada what's cooler than being cool it says cold ipa from so, san diego california it's a new style that i've heard a lot about the cold ipas and i believe it they're like ipas but they use that's how they brew them they use a lager yeast but they ferment it at a regular ipa temperature yep. is what i understand i'll have to look it up but Never had one, saw it on the website. Uh, short throw brewing. Oh, so you had a short throw brewing when we were at um, 
the High Road Lobster last week. Oh, okay, yep. You had a session IPA and yes. it was actually really good. It was good. good. This mm -hmm. is other, okay, it was other half and short brew collab is what you had and this is another one. This is the Fadeaway. That's a stout. Stout with maple syrup and coffee at 13%. Oh. So they had this one. <clears throat> Remember I said I, I uh, if wish I could have, have to that drive, back to drive. If you didn't have to drive, we would have tried it. And then I found out I'd already ordered the can anyway. So that's pretty cool. So this says, good beer brings good cheer. This is Swami's India Pale Ale. It's from Pizza Port Brewing. Um, it's a pale ale at 6.8%. And I... <clears throat> I think it probably doesn't say on this, but I think this is their uh, this is their flagship flagship beer. I believe it is. Looking forward to that one. Let's see what I got. I can't seem to find any 450s when it's my turn. I think I got them all. I've got <clears throat> looks like another pizza port. So yep. apparently I grabbed all the pizza ports. This one is called Chronic Ale. It's an amber ale from Carlsbad, California. So we got two that kind of reference weed that are so, red ales. I don't understand what's going on with that. This is another pizza port, remote location, India Pale Ale. So hopefully the pizza ports are good because apparently I bought all the pizza right? ports this they is had. 7% alcohol by volume. Uh, Joe's from Joe's Arcade likes the pizza port. He said those are the good. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him review a pizza port. <sighs> the Swami's, which is what that was. I think he's done that. I don't, I don't, think, I don't know if I've seen that review. So you did a, you had a Hydra? Yep. From Mortalis. This is Puff the Magic Hydra. Mm -hmm. And this is Sour Ale with Raspberry, Blackberry, Kiwi, and Marshmallow. Ooh, 7%. That sounds good. From Mortalis and Avon, New York. So I found the next 450. Of course you did. And this is a Diamonds Are Forever. Slushy XXXL. Ooh. Raspberry, Lychee, and Pineapple. XX, XL, XL, 3XL. Yeah. I don't know if we've had a 3XL. <clears throat> I don't think we have. From them. Still a 5.3. They're all supposedly 5.3%. But I tell you, every 450 I've had so far, I really like them. Me too. I really, yeah. want, I really want, I think, that first one that we opened. Oh, I finally oh, got a 450. Got 450. This is only the XL. This is, oh, you gotta read upside down, pineapple upside down cake. This is pineapple, sweet cherry, brown sugar, and lactose. So I really wanna try that first one I opened and the carrot cake one. So this is Tox Brewing Company, it's called Inky Cap. It's an imperial stout aged on pistachio nuts, vanilla bean, and cocoa nibs. That sounds good, never That's heard of the is. brewery, but what do you say you're from or did you say? <laughs> Uh, North Haven, Connecticut. Oh, brewed and packaged by 12%. Tox Brewing. So another another brewery that's being distributed by 12%. So 12% brewing a lot of different breweries, beers. I don't know. Oh, I got a 450. I see that. Two in a row now. <laughs> this is another just regular XL. This is Maui Waui. Passion fruit, coconut, orange, and kiwi from 450 North. Well, that sounds good too. It's a lot of 450 Norse. Mm -hmm. We got five of them, six. So you get this is another who put the fuck, who the fuck put carrot in the cake. So you must have gotten two of those. No, that's the sour edition. Oh, sour edition. So we got the imperial sour ale with carrot, apricot, cinnamon, granola, cream cheese, and milk sugar. Seven percent alcohol by volume. So. Okay, so there's a stout and a sour. Yeah. Looks like we're down to the final two. Oh, I got a 12 or a 12 ouncer. This is just called Slosh from Prairie Artesian Ales. It's sour ale with strawberry, raspberry, lemon, and lime. 6.1 percent. And they're from Oklahoma. We got another Prairie beer. We haven't had the Prairie Bomb. Prairie Bomb. I got to review and haven't not got to it. Probably. Right down. My, oh, so I'm ending, ending on a 450. 450. That's okay with me. This is Monkey Bags. A slushy XXL with strawberry, kiwi, pink guava, and raspberry. Is that monkey bags or money bags? It says monkey bags, doesn't it? Money bags. Money bags. Oh, my bad. I even had my glasses on. You got all the XXLs. I had all the XLs. <clears throat> no. And then we had one 
Triple XL. So that's a very nice unboxing. That's quite a lot of beers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 20, almost a full case of beer from uh, craftshack.com. So it wasn't cheap, like I said, but <clears throat> it'd be worth it. There's a lot of 450s, and I'm looking forward to them. So find myself liking the sours more than the IPAs, and I don't know why. So if I can be persuasive tonight, and I'm peeking around the beers, <laughs> we're going to try this one and the carrot cake. Yeah, probably won't be tonight, but maybe tomorrow. I can be a little persuasive. All right, guys, so there it is, another unboxing. <laughs> this is a beautiful looking collection of cans right here. So I always get these because I think they're good to review. And half time we don't review them because sometimes we just like to drink them outside or at camp. So. But you might see some of these in upcoming reviews. So, have you had tried any uh, <clears throat> deliveries from CraftShack.com or any other beer services? Let us know if there's any more you recommend. Pretty pricey, but you can get some really, really good different beers. That yeah, and sometimes they take a little while to ship. <clears throat> so they come from California. FedEx gets them here pretty fast, but they take sometimes a little, a few days to get them out on the road. So I don't know. Why, what happens there, but I don't know how it works. All I know is I order them, cost a lot of money, and then we enjoy them. <laughs> so, <laughs> anything else you got to say? Other than you really want to drink these tonight? <laughs> well, one, one of them for sure I do. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Good night. Oh.